How many times do you write down the steps to accomplish a task? The set of tasks are called algorithm. Not only in computer science, in real life, our brain always think and create an algorithm to start a work. I'm Shajan Dash, ID 191-15-12381. I want to share knowledge about longest common subsequence. So let's start. What is LCS? Firstly, we should know about the sequence. Sequence means a set of object or element will be in an order. Here we can see at the string shajal s a j a l is in a order. So it's a sequence. And also s a j or j a l is a part of the sequence. So it will be subsequence. So now if we take two or more string then we can find the common subsequence between them. Here one is Shajal, another one is Shajalla. It seems funny, one of my friend and relative called me as Shajalla. Now let's see how our brain think to find out the common subsequence. Firstly, we will take S and compare it to finding the match. We already find S and S is matching, then A and A is matching, J and J is matching, A and A is matching, L and I is not matching, then L and L is matching. We already got the common subsequence. We can see our first string is totally common with the second one. So we can tell that it is the longest common subsequence, which length of 5. Now let's see another example to get better realization of longest common subsequence. I put an A at the beginning of Shajal. Now if I want to find out the common subsequence, I should start with the A and A is matching with this A. So our sequence will start from this A. Then S. S is matching with the first S. but it's conflicting with our sequence so we can't break our sequence we start our sequence from a so we have to take the common from this a then again a is not matching with the j a is matching with a so we'll include this a now j is matching with the j but it also conflicting with our sequence so we can't take j and then a there is no a at our second string and l lastly is matching so we can tell that our first common subsequence will be a a l now we can find another common subsequence so let's start from s so s and s is matching then a and a is matching j and j is matching a and a is matching and l and l is matching so totally it's maintain our sequence so this common sequence will be S J A L. So we can compare this to common sequence and tell that S J A L is the longest common subsequence here. We already understand what is LCS. Now we have to simulate the algorithm. We will use dynamic programming to implement this algorithm. Here is the pseudocode. Firstly, we should take two two-dimensional array. So we can take the array and we put the characters from x our first string and y our second string y at columns x at row so then we have to put zero at the column zero from the row one to m so let's put them then we have to put zero at the row zero from column zero to n now it's the time to find our lcs so as it is a 2d array we have to iterate a nested loop with the row and column now there are two main condition one is matching condition and another one is not matching condition row alphabet can be matched with the column alphabet or not so let's start s and s is matching we can see the matching condition we have to put diagonal value adding with one and also a diagonal array so let's put it our diagonal value is zero so plus one it will be one and a diagonal arrow 
So then S and A is not matching. There are two conditions in not matching. One is upper value is greater or equal than left value. Then we have to put the upper value and put a upper arrow. Otherwise, we have to put the left arrow and left value. So we can see here S and A is not matching, but the upper value is not greater than the left. So we have to put the left value and the left arrow. So then same goes for J, A, I, double L and A. Now it's time for A. A and S is not matching. So we have to check the upper value is greater. Yes, it is true now. So we have to put the upper value 1 and the upper arrow. So now A and A, it is matching. So if it is matching, we have to put the diagonal adding with 1. So diagonal value is 1 plus 1 will be 2 and the diagonal arrow. Then A and J, it's not matching. We have to check upper value greater than lower value. No, it is not true. So we have to put the left value and left arrow. So we already seen the three condition to put the values in the array. So following this condition, we will put this. Now, at the last row, L and S is not matching, upper value is greater, so we have to put the upper value and upper arrow, then L and A is not matching, and again upper value is greater, so 2 and upper arrow, L and J is not matching, same goes for this array. Now L and L is matching, we have to put the diagonal value with adding 1. So 4 plus 1 will be 5 and also diagonal arrow. Now again L and L is matching, 4 plus 1 will be 5 and diagonal arrow. And lastly L and A is not matching. We can see upper value is not greater equal. So we have to put the left value 5 and left arrow. We already put the values in the array. Now we have to find the LCS. For finding LCS, we have to backtrack from bottom to up. It's a bottom up process. So let's backtrack. So we start from the bottom of the row and column. Then our arrow indicates left. We go to left, then diagonal, go to diagonal, go to left, left, diagonal, 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 diagonal. We already determined our path. It will end when we get zero. So this is the end of our path. Now in this path, which value indicates diagonal arrow will be our LCS. So let's find out that. Firstly, there is five diagonal arrow, which is L, then four diagonal arrow, which is A, then three diagonal arrow, which is J, then A, then S. So our LCS will be SHAL, which is length of five. Now. What is the time complexity of this algorithm? We already find out the dynamic programming approach where easily we can understand we have to iterate a nested loop so it will be m into n, big O of m into n. There is also a recursive solution too. The recursive solution took 2 to the power n which is exponential. So we know exponent will take more time than m into n. So that's why we are using dynamic programming for finding LCS. Thank you.